Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm Bundy, aka Bundy Games, and in today's video, we're back at the end of the month. It is the last day of March, and as usual, we're going to continue tallying up our scores for today and then see where we end up with our points for the end of the month. In addition to that, we're going to be looking at a change that's happening on the rewards app that's being moved over to the Game Pass Quest side. So let's jump into that, guys. First thing we're going to look at here on the Game Pass Quest side, as we usually do, I've already claimed the three points for the day. That's all we had left was to play any Game Pass game. So I went ahead and got that out of the way. The additional thing that I want to show you guys is this was a new change that's happened already. And it I was questioning whether or not it was going to benefit us more than the other way, which was removing the 1,000 points that we got at the end of the month in place of what we have now, the 500. But they changed that with um over here oh well, my controller went out okay they changed that with these quests here where we get 250 points every week um for doing certain challenges in certain games so if we got four weeks in a month we know that's our 1000 points right there it just takes a little bit of time depending on the game if you've never played the game before there are uh, guides on YouTube that you can look up if you want to see this. I played this game before, so this was the easy one to get. Just had to uh, kill 28 enemies. So that wasn't difficult. Now, this over here, earn an achievement in any Game Pass game, it looks like they're going to be moving that from the, uh, the reward side. So where we could get... 50 points every day if we got an achievement at least one achievement in a game pass game every day we would get 50 points so they say they're moving it over that won't take place until the first tuesday of april so i don't know if that's going to be a daily thing or if that's going to be a weekly thing so we have to wait and see uh what's going to happen with that in a few days uh but we won't talk about it unless it's a big enough change maybe i can make a, a separate video but normally i only do these videos twice a month in the middle of the month and at the end of the month so we'll see what happens if it's big enough i'll make a little short video and then we'll talk about it so actually this it seems that it's working out okay because uh when i added up my totals i got everything done this is our 500 right here that replaced the 1000 so by adding everything up and i completed every single quest and again like i tell you guys you don't have to do everything in order to get the free game pass i'll say that again i do it if it's something because there's been times that i've not done everything if it's a game that I refuse to play, if it's a, um, a challenge that involves some type of multiplayer aspect, and if it's going to be more painful, <laughs> for the lack of a better word, for me to do, I'll just let it go. So up till now, that hasn't happened yet. 100 Days in City Skylines, that's a game I played as well, so that wasn't too hard to get. So adding all these up, and they're still going to have these little easy ones where you just have to play a game, get the five points. That's a weekly thing as well. And then we still get the, the 100 points, um, say, after 12 dailies and eight weeklies. So we're still going to get that as well. This one wasn't too bad either. Uh, 400 Distance and Mirror's Edge. A game I've never really played, but it wasn't too hard to just go back and forth, back and forth, running on the walls until you end up getting the 400 points. So again, not too bad. And this one here, burn 30 items. That was easy. It didn't take too long to do that. 
another game that I haven't played, but I was able to get the points. It didn't take very long. And that's it. So we ended up with 2,010 points. And if I recall, I've never gotten over 2,000 points before. I believe the norm, the average, was usually around the uh was it 1700 mark somewhere around there so it looks like it's working out to our benefit so far but like i always say when it gets too good they make changes so we'll see what happens there so let's jump into the rewards app okay now before i go on i do want to say and I should have said that in the beginning to keep you guys, uh, <laughs> uh, to keep you guys interested on and uh, watching this video till the very end. We did break last month's record. Last month we had 28 days to break the record for January. 28 days in February, we were able to break that record. Uh, we got. 26,000 points in 28 days so that was pretty impressive but what helped us to do that was our rewards weekly set we got see right now it shows that we're at a 96 week streak 96 weeks guys that's almost two years there's 52 weeks in a year so think about that we got our 90 week streak in February and that gave us that bonus of 2,500 points. So it's that 90 week streak that set us over the top and allowed us to break that record. Okay. Um, so what do we got here? This is the change that they're talking about. Normally we would get 50 points a day for every achievement. The uh, earn more, it says here, achieve more, earn more. For the past week, I think it was over a week. It was saying that it was under maintenance so we were unable to get that 50 points a day which is sort of a big deal because 50 points a day for 30 days that's 1500 points that we would be losing so what they did as a consolation just by clicking on it we would get five points a day and this shows here that they're going to be moving it to the quest side so we'll see what happens there. Um, we're going to say no thanks because we want to go back to the quest. So we'll see what happens there um, in a couple of days. That that's going to be to the betterment of us or to the detriment. So we'll see what happens there. Now, I do have this one over here. We got 12 days left on this. So I'll wait to do this tomorrow to get these 100 points to give us a little boost for the month of April. Because I don't know if we're going to break the record for April, guys. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if that's going to happen. Because I wanted to make sure since March was my birthday month. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that, that we broke the record of the previous month. right? But uh, now I didn't do this on purpose. This kind of sort of happened. You see over here, I got a check mark for this 2,500 points. Now, I will say this. Even if I hadn't done this, we would have still broke the record. So I don't want anybody jumping on me just yet. And I did, and I always say you don't have to spend any money. And I did not spend any money to do this. What I actually did, because it says here, let's click on it and see. If you rent or buy three movies, and the value has to be four dollars or more. Okay, you would get an additional 2,500 points. So what I did is, and I actually found something out that I wasn't completely sure about. Because sometimes they put these games on, these movies on special for $3.99, which is under $4. But once you do it, you got to pay taxes on it. You know, in this area anyway, in the United States. So with the taxes... It brings it above four dollars and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get credit or not and I actually got credit so that was a good thing 
So if you could get movies that that tend to get to that three ninety nine mark, uh, four times three is twelve. So by spending twelve dollars, you should be able to get that if one of these pops up. But I didn't spend any money, guys. What I did is I utilize um some of my points that I have, and I'll show that to you. I have the proof. I got the receipt. I utilized, I think it was 23,000 points to get $25. I believe that's what it was. But I'll look at that in a minute. And I was able to, to get a gift card that I use to get these. Now, why did I do this? It wasn't to make sure I got over for my birthday month it's because I said I was gonna treat myself a little bit right I was gonna watch the new John Wick movie chapter 4 and in doing that there was a special on the John Wick movies so I got a um, one of the movies for three ninety nine. that's how I was able to see that they gave us credit and the other two movies was six ninety nine. so still under that twenty five dollar mark so I still have some um, some credit left over. So I'll be able to use that for something else later. So that's how I was able to get these. And then plus if you look at the fact that I spent 23,000 23, points. And then I end up getting 2,500 back. And I still have some credit. So that's what happened here. That's where we got this additional 2,500 points that you're going to see at the end. So let's back out of here. All right. So hopefully I explained that <laughs> well enough. That's what happened on that deal. All right, so let's jump into here. And this video may be a little bit longer than I originally anticipated, but I have a couple of people said they like that. They want to follow and see what's going on. So let's make sure I got my rhythm. Click on it, back out. Click on it back out. And then we go down here. We do the same thing. This is to get that 150 points that we get daily. And I see we did get a portrait, but the portraits of these people, I don't think I want to look at. Well, I don't know who this person is. Let's look at Gwyneth. Until we see the plus five stop appearing. Or you can count it off. I don't count it off anymore. Because as I usually say, this is about getting this stuff done as quickly as possible. And I do get them done quicker than this. Because normally I'm not talking to myself about what I'm doing. Okay, did it stop? I believe it stopped. Let's try one more. Okay, we're done. So we go back home. And then we go through these. This is our daily sets. We got 10 points on that. We do the daily poll. Which music? You don't even have to read it. Oh, they pick country. I pick pop, but we got our 10 points for that. And we can actually just back twice, and that'll take us to this one here. We get 10 points, and we got 10 questions. Wow. The wrong answer does not matter. We'll still get credit for the 10 points. Keep that in mind. And then we get our score. Got our 10 points, go back home, make sure it's credited. All right. So we got all that done. Let's jump back into the rewards app. Make sure we reset it first so that we can see that we got the points. Okay. All right. We got our 150, we got our 100 earlier. We're going to get these 20 points and then see what we have. We only need to get four of these. It's five points each. We need the 20 points. So click on that. Got five. 
It's number two. Five more points. Number three. Another five. And this should be number four. All right. So now we'll jump into the rewards dashboard. And here's my receipt, guys. <laughs> what I was saying. I did get the $25 gift card. And I spent 23,000 points for it. And you can see here I ordered it on March 26th. So that's proof that I didn't spend any money to get that additional 2,500 points. And I have three. And I did. I went with the, uh, the buy option. So I now have um john wick chapter one two and three in my movie collection for free so that was how i treated myself we have three of these that we're going to click on and then we'll see what our total is okay we may have to do this twice because it looks like it didn't give me credit for it but let's check no it didn't give me credit for it it does that sometimes so let's click it again there we go so now we got credit for it well, sometimes it's good that that happens so that way I can show you guys that if you don't get it the first time, just do it again. So we got two more. Okay, we got credit for that one. And we got one more 10 points. stargazing basics and we got points for that and remember guys if this is your first time watching one of these videos I put it on the favorites because if you just hit the back button it'll take you completely out of the app and we don't want to do that so by putting it on favorites that alleviates that problem so we're just gonna make sure we got credit we did get credit And this here, guys, where it says today's points, 3,273, this is often not correct. So I don't even pay attention to this anymore. So don't ever think that I got this many points in one day. That never happens. Uh, the only time that I think what kind of glitched it out is when I got that additional 2,500 points on that day. And for whatever reason, it's kind of been throwing some extra points. But this is never completely accurate so anyway and you see since i i got those twenty three thousand points my available points went down i'm trying to keep it above two two hundred thousand so no points for a while but let's see where we ended up for the month there we go we ended up with twenty eight thousand eight hundred and sixty one now keep in mind if I had not gotten that additional 2,500 points, we would still be at 26,361. So we would have still beat February's record. So keep that in mind. <laughs> I didn't cheat. I treated myself. I didn't spend any money. So I didn't break our rule. And we still beat the record for last month. And like I said, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that for April. I'm going to try my best. We got to see what's going to happen with the Achieve More, Earn More thing. And yeah, just stay tuned, guys, in the middle of April, and we'll see what happens. So again, we broke our record for March, my birthday month. We got 28,861. That's the most points we have ever gotten in one month. So congratulations to us. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.